Hello dear students, my name is Vikram Nalavde. I am an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering. I am working at SITC OER Draw, which you can do. Uh, till now we have uh, covered much more content of uh, introductory part of uh, automobile engineering like uh, uh, classification of uh, automobiles, then uh, basic components of uh, automobiles then uh, types of uh, engine cylinders and many more uh, now we will discuss about uh, the uh, forces required to uh, keep the automobile in the motion so that is uh, the tractive forces and we will discuss about the power requirement uh, for the automobile so uh, let's uh, start today's uh, lecture that uh, will discuss the objectives then uh, tractive forces and power requirement of uh, an automobile so uh, the objective of today's lecture is to understand what is tractive force and what are the requirements of the power uh, of an automobile so let's uh, start with the tractive effort generally uh, what is the uh, tractive effort uh, when vehicle is running uh, uh, in simple uh, example if i say if any object is uh, moving on the uh, surface there are some opposite forces which are developing a resistance uh, in order to stop the motion so in similar manner when any uh, any an automobile is uh, in motion some of the resistances are applied by some of the uh, other factors so uh, in that manner whatever the energy or force is required to keep the automobile uh, in motion that effort is called tractive effort or that is also called traction so in order to uh, keep the mo uh, vehicle uh, moving at a uh, uniform speed a driving force that driving force is also called uh, tractive effort traction tractive effort tractive forces or driving force that is equal to the sum of all opposing forces or the resistances has to be applied to it so uh, it is clear from uh, this uh, sentence that one force is required to keep the body moving on the surface uh, now if the tractive effort or tractive force increases the total resistance affecting the moment of the vehicle then the excess tractive effort will accelerate the vehicle means in the sense if tractive effort is uh, more than the uh, other resistances then uh, vehicle will be accelerating and uh, on the second side uh, if uh, tractive effort is less than the total resistance then no doubt the excess of resistance will low down the speed of the vehicle so anyhow uh, we have to keep the tractive effort more if we want to uh, keep the automobile in motion continuously so a uh, vehicle acceleration uh, will be equal to tractive efforts uh, minus total resistance affecting the moment of the vehicle so uh, this acceleration means tractive effort should always be more acceleration will definitely retard if uh, tractive force is uh, uh, decreasing and on the other side resistance is applied by other factors these are increasing or vice versa then uh, let's discuss about uh, what type of resistance is uh, are what are the factors which affect the uh, motion uh, of an automobile so generally uh, there are air uh, or wind resistance gradient resistance and rolling resistance so uh, these are shown by the diagram first of all this is the air and uh, air or wind resistance you see uh, how uh, when uh, an automobile is uh, moving in the forward direction then air if it is in opposite direction it always 
tries to strike over the body to slow down the uh, speed then you see uh, we, where are the portion where resistance is more so this is the portion here uh, the air is striking on the surface of the car where resistance is applied this will be higher then as the uh, this uh, inclination of uh, structure or we can say aer aerodynamic structure of the car it in uh, through that uh, air passes over it then uh, after crossing after striking over the entire body the uh, air goes through like this so here this will the portion where the pressure or resistance applied by the air will be lesser so let's uh, discuss about uh, what is uh, air resistance it is the resistance uh, which the air offer to the movement of uh, bodies through it this resistance depends upon the shape and uh, size of the body and its speed through the air a streamlined vehicle uh, shall be subjected to less air resistance than a flat uh, shaped vehicle moving at the same speed and accordingly more tractive effort shall be required to keep the uh, flat shaped vehicle moving at the same speed at which streamlined vehicle is moving uh, if the tractive effort affecting at both the vehicles is the uh, same the streamlined vehicle shall run at higher speed than the other at the lower end air resistance shall be a uh, low and at high speed the air resistance shall multiply in practice uh, generally the air resistance is uh, taken to vary as the square of the speed uh, if the speed is doubled the air resistance increases four times so in this manner the resistance varies by uh, variation in the speed uh, then let's discuss about the second type of resistance that is uh, gradient resistance gradient in the sense in terms of the inclination of the road so as the steepness of the road increases the resistance uh, offered on the vehicle also increases so in this diagram uh, it is mentioned that uh, uh, how a uh, vehicle is moving in forward direction as the steepness increases then we have to consider uh, the weight of the car or weight of the uh, automobile is acting downwards normal forces are also applied uh, uh, that is perpendicular to the object and the resistive forces are always uh, in opposite direction so uh, let's uh, discuss what is the gradient resistance uh, generally it is the uh, resistance due to the road gradient or steepness it depends upon the steepness of uh, gradient and the weight of the vehicle and is not affected by the speed of the vehicle up the gradient as is apparent from the diagram here in this diagram the weight of the car acts vertically downwards force uh, acting on the car due to the gradient is tending to push it uh, backwards so this is here in order to prevent car from rolling down the gradient uh, a force equal and opposite to uh, must be applied on it then uh, when the car is going up the gradient a part of driving force or tractive effort is consumed in uh, overcoming the uh, force uh, this force is an additional resistance to the uh, movement of the car and is known as uh, gradient resistance so gradient resistance due to the gradient then uh, what is the rolling resistance generally rolling resistance it includes all the remaining resistances to the movement vehicle it includes internal friction resistance of the transmission system uh, and uh, resistance due to the deformation of the road and tire all the power required all the power developed by the engine does not reach the driving wheels to act as a driving force but some of the power is lost in driving the transmission component so uh, there is the dissipation of energy through the impact of uh, tire with the road surface uh, the loss of power through the impact of tire with the road uh, surface that depends upon some of the factors like uh, nature of the road surface nature of the uh, tire fitted with the vehicle 
tire inflation tire inflation uh, pressure then total weight of uh, vehicle and uh, load on the vehicle then uh, what is uh, how much total or tractive resistance will be calculated that will be uh, difference of gradient and rolling resistance and the air resistance uh, gradient resistance and rolling resistance these are independent of uh, vehicle speed uh, and uh, air resistance that uh, is dependent on the vehicle speed so uh, now uh, let's uh, discuss 